moments after Apollo 12 launches from the Kennedy Space Center in November 1969, the unthinkable happens. Within 30 seconds of launch, the spacecraft is struck by lightning. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. I'm not sure if we get hit by lightning. Lunar module pilot Alan Bean is unaware of the strike. All of a sudden, master alarm comes on. I look up there at the display that has all the caution and warning lights on there. There was more of them on there than I'd ever seen in my life. Bean struggles to decipher the instruments. There was no pattern. I had no idea what to do. Then, in a million to one shot. Within 30 seconds, they're struck again. As Mission Control frantically attempts to assess the damage, the Saturn V rocket continues on its trajectory, sending the three-man crew into the upper atmosphere at 6,000 miles per hour. There's seven and a half million pounds of thrust going on down there. That's uh, the biggest, most powerful engine ever built on Earth. You've got to, at that moment, say, OK, I'm on a rocket that's filled with liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, and I'm on my way to space, and everything's dropped off. What do I do now? Mission Commander Pete Conrad has just a few minutes to decide if they should abort the launch. The spacecraft is still flying the way it's supposed to. So uh, Pete Conrad, cool as a cucumber, uh, does not engage the abort for the spacecraft. The crew keeps calm, and the system comes back online. Apollo 12, Houston, the good word is you're go for TLI. Hope you do. We're ready. But to some observers, there's something strange about two lightning strikes happening within 30 seconds. Apollo 12 defies coincidence. It's struck by lightning twice. Lightning doesn't strike twice. And despite a successful moon landing, when Command Module Pilot Dick Gordon undocks the lunar module, Audio transmission suggests that something is interfering with the mission. That's really the floating outside the window. Where'd the boot go? Weird objects appear to fly past the command module. Dick sees something out the window, and he doesn't know what it is, and he's just wondering where it came from. We're on the far side of the moon, and uh, he doesn't know. Are we doing something? The objects are brightly colored and appear to rotate as they fly past. NASA assumes the objects are debris from the lunar module. There shouldn't be pieces coming off, and if the insulation comes off, it's going to be a clue that maybe some part of the lunar module will, get, will overheat. So any kind of information like that has to be reported right away. But when NASA examines onboard photos of the undocking procedure, no insulation is missing. He wants to make sure it isn't a part of our spacecraft we need, but apparently it wasn't. I don't know. The debris explanation doesn't satisfy everyone. 